Today I'm going to be talking about the SPX200, our eye-only product. Integrated into the unit, it has built-in amplifier and speakers. Also, it has a collapsible docking mechanism, so when it's not needed, it can be put away or flipped out for use. Also, a rubber support bar and a locking mechanism. This actually prevents the mechanism being pushed back while a unit is actually in the dock. When down, it locks in place, and you need to slide the catch across to be able to push it back up. And on the top right hand corner of the unit, we've got indicators for volume and super bass. Also, down the side of the unit, we've got basic function buttons the on and standby button, input, volume up and down, super bass, and a Bluetooth pairing button, along with a line in jack. The first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to pair the iPhone with the SPX200. So you need to put your iPhone in Bluetooth pairing mode. Then what we need to do is we need to change the input on the SPX200 and you know which input you're on by the light indicator on the front. White is for the dock, blue is for Bluetooth and green is for the auxiliary. Once in the Bluetooth input mode you then need to press the pairing button on the SPX200 and you'll see the blue light flashing. You'll then see the SPX200 appear on the iPhone. It's now connected. And it's a simple case of connecting. And once yeah. connected, you can then stream music. your music from your iPhone to the SPX200. And it's as simple as that. The other thing we've done with the SPX200 is given it the ability to take the iPad. You can use the functions as you normally would on the iPad, but resting in the SPX200 dock, it will charge the iPad as well, and it will also connect via Bluetooth. So whether it's a wired iPhone or iPad, or even wireless via Bluetooth, the SPX200 can connect and play your most favourite devices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.